for all those who have forsaken Christianity and left their faith to follow a lie and for all those who are ashamed of the gospel watch this video as this young woman stands up alone bold and fearless to defend the gospel against Zakir Naik question is I've heard you talk about religion so much and I'll speak of the Bible because that's what I'm aware of you say you talk of Jesus as religious leader but as far as I'm concerned Jesus did not come to introduce any religion neither is he a religion religious leader what Jesus introduced in this world was the kingdom of God the second question maybe you can elaborate uh, which religion is God because as far as I do research I've come to understand that Jesus who is my Lord and my Savior he did not introduce any of those he introduced the government of heaven in other words he wanted to colonize world like with heavenly power there's a lot of controversies the sister has two questions and I believe the sister is a Christian she said that I said Jesus was a religious leader I never said that I never ever said Jesus peace be upon him was a religious leader I said he was a messenger of God the question that he is your Lord and your Savior yes. first let me tell you sister Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ peace be upon him no Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ peace be upon him the Muslims and the Christians we are going together but one may ask then where is the parting of faith the parting of faith is that most of the Christians believe including yourself that we come to know from a question that Jesus Christ peace be upon him claimed divinity and most of the Christians believe that Jesus Christ peace be upon him is God let me remind you sister I'm a student of comparative religion I've read the Bible there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ peace be upon him himself says that I am God or where he says worship me if sister you can point out a single unequivocal statement from anywhere in the Bible a single unambiguous statement from anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ peace be upon him himself says that I am God or where he says worship me I Zakir Naik am ready to accept Christianity today I have heard you sir saying that I am not times. speaking on behalf of the other Muslims I am ready to put my head on the guillotine there yes. sister I have an answer to that sir yes, in the book of John the Bible says that in the beginning was the word the word was God and the word was with God and the word became flesh what I want you to wait, know wait, is wait, that wait, 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 sister. Number. I, answer but, me. Wait, wait, the I'm, word became God. But what have does you that pulled, say? Sister, were these the words spoken by Jesus, peace be upon him? And the answer is no. No. Because let, the word let of let God, me sir. Let me complete. You pose the question. You pose the question. I'm taking You don't a allow people to give answers. You, are, you pose the question. I'm giving the answer. After I finish the answer, you can speak. You can't interrupt. Did I interrupt you when you were speaking? Did I interrupt? Yes or no? Now no. when I'm giving the answer, why are you interrupting? Let me finish the answer, then you can answer. Mister, do you understand? No. This is called, you don't understand English. That's you tell me what English, I said is wrong. I'm quoting your scholars. I am quoting your Bible. You pick up any Bible of red, you, you thought I did not know, correct? No, I'm, I'm not here to demonstrate knowledge, sir. I'm it here is not to the demonstrate question of knowledge. It is the question of Bible. You believe Bible is the word of God, correct? Yes, I do. I don't believe it is the word of God. Even though you believe the Bible is the word of God, I know Bible more than you, right? There is one thing to know the Bible. There is another thing to have the revelation of the Bible. Because you know, even when Jesus came, the people who did not understand who he was were religious leaders. They missed big time. Sister, they did not know who he was because sister, he was hidden. And the work of the New Testament. Place in the Bible. Where you Bible? question, sir. Can you separate yourself from your word? Sorry? 
Can you separate Dr. Zaka and Naik from his word? Can you separate, Dr. Can you separate Zaka yourself from your word? But what difference does it make whether I can or whether I cannot? You see, you don't get it. Jesus is the word of God made flesh. But well, religious mind is too big for five senses. Jesus is the word of God and himself he is God. The Bible every, says he gave him the name that is above every other name, every, which is the word of God. Every messenger gets the word of God. Moses was the word of God. Jesus was the word of God. Abraham was the word of God. Prophet Muhammad is the word of God. So what is First of all, we recommend... Friends, even if you pray five times a day, even if you fast during Ramadan and you give zakat, even the Muhammad's companions were not certain they were afraid of death because they didn't know would Allah be pleased with them or Allah wouldn't be pleased with them. So, yeah. my, right? Say it again. Yeah or no? Yeah, of course. Okay, but aren't they the best of generations? Yes, but you see, we are humans, we don't know what we might have done unknowingly that hurt. Okay, that's people. okay. That, I'm not agreeing. But see, if these are the best Muslims and they're still afraid to die because they don't know if Allah is pleased with them, what peace can you have when death comes knocking at your door? But now compare it to Jesus' disciples. Paul, when he's about to be beheaded, he's rejoicing. He goes, I fought the good fight. I have finished the race and now in store for me is the crown of righteousness which the Lord shall give to me and not only me but give to all who love and desire his appearing. He's dying with confidence. He's dying with joy knowing that when I'm about to die I'm going to see Jesus my Lord and he's going to crown me. Did Jesus ever claim to be God? Yeah, he sure did. I did. Yes. In John 8, 58, Jesus says, Before Abraham was born, I am. In John 10, 30, Jesus says, I and the Father are one. In John 14, 9, Jesus says, He who has seen me has seen the Father. Clearly, Jesus claimed to be God. So he was both human and God at the same time? That's what he claimed. Maybe he was a lunatic, but that's what he claimed. He wasn't a lunatic. He was a prophet. Well, he claimed to be God in human form. Which means he's more than a prophet. He's God in human form. But the, God is something that's superior to human form. So it doesn't make sense for God to be human because he wouldn't necessarily be higher than the other. All right, first point is God is not something. The Bible insists that God is someone, a personal being. And it's totally possible for a personal being who's the creator to humble himself and become a human being. Why do you trust Muhammad? Because um, he preaches love, compassion. Even the Quran, it, oh, the Quran only mentions his name once. Um, it's not all about him. It mostly focuses on other prophets like Moses and um, you know Joseph and like all the prophets that you believe in as well. Um, and it also says that the Bible, the Torah, and the Quran are three books that all Muslims should believe in. That to know be revelations from God so well then do you believe that Jesus died on a cross I believe that Jesus was a prophet but although there I don't believe that he died on the cross I believe that he was on the cross when he died but I believe that he was his spirit went up and okay. came down well in light of the fact that one-third of Matthew one-third of Mark one-third of Jude and John and one-third of Luke talk about Jesus dying on a cross for you to say that Muhammad respects the New Testament as reliable in light of the fact that he denies the cross, there's a major breakdown there, ma'am. Don't you see that? I I believe that the Bible, the Torah and the Bible are true books, are revelations, but I believe that there's a contradiction between a lot what the Bible says in it and what Jesus preaches. Because in a lot of the what it says in the Old Testament can be can't scientifically be proven or ma'am you can't scientifically can. prove to me that Muhammad and Jesus ever lived what do you mean a lot of the Old Testament you can't scientifically prove of course you're right you can't scientifically prove any history 
history is not science. History is based on the trustworthiness of eyewitness testimony. Science is based on the repeatability of an experiment. You don't repeat Muhammad in a lab here every September. What's the first commandment? We, we just passed that. You should have no other gods but, but God. You should have no other gods but God. That means no man that God sent. That means you should not worship Jesus. How many gods do you have? Just just one, just one. So, no, you're right. We should only worship God. You're right, you're right, you're right. That's okay, that's not, I don't break that. We worship only God. Okay, then. We don't believe that. He